whole can of Red Bull later and I'm ready. Let's do a full face of brand new makeup. Starting off, I'm going to put the Trigger Lip Oil on. I've been absolutely loving this. This is the mango flavor. It's literally so delicious. Oh my god, this smells so good. So hydrating, so nourishing on the lips as well. We actually have a new brow product to try today, which I'm so excited about because you guys know that I've just been obsessed with bare brows and nothing else. So this is the new Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax. I've heard some really good things about it, actually. This is what it looks like. So you can see the one there. It's very thin. To use it, you need to brush through the brows using upward strokes to fluff up and texturize. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use. This is supposed to give you a full fluffy brow look. It has flexible hold and it's flake free. Let's give it a minute to dry. I'm going to try and like press it down into my... Ooh, oh my god, it actually worked. I remember I tried to do this with the original brow gel and it didn't work. Okay. Ooh, okay. You know what? I'm not mad at that. I like it so far. I did have to work with it a little bit more than I usually would with my bare brows. It is like double the price, but so far, so good. We have the new NYX foundation to try. I'm so excited. They kindly sent me two shades. Just from looking at it, they look like really good shades. Oh my god, it comes with matcha. I've never actually had matcha so i'm actually very excited and it comes with the kit to make it to prep my skin i'm gonna go straight in with the vitamin bay primer i love this so much this is the bear with me blur tint foundation this is supposed to be it's supposed to have a matte finish it has skin care and actives to boost and care for your skin oh my god this includes much like in the actual foundation there is matcha powder glycerin powder and my cyanide powder which works effortlessly to provide the no filter needed makeup look wow that is amazing. These two shades look the same, but maybe they have different undertones. This is 08 Golden Light. Oh, that looks like a really good match. And this is 09 Light Medium. You can see the difference there is the undertone. This one looks like it has more of a warm, olivey undertone. And this one looks like it has like a lighter, almost peachy undertone. Okay, here's the thing. I feel like this works better with my skin because I can see that it just blends better. But I'm used to wearing more yellow like this. Yeah, no, I'm still gonna go ahead. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna use 08 Golden Light. Okay. Well done to the team at NYX. This is a very good shade. I couldn't have shade match myself better. I do have dry skin, so I'm interested to see what this matte formula will look like. So it's a lightweight formula. It provides a medium coverage, but it is buildable. Yeah, the coverage is definitely there. And it offers 12 hours of hydration for a blurred base that lasts. I see the blurring effect. I feel like if you have oily skin, you'll love it. Definitely should have color corrected underneath. But what do we think, guys? I can't lie, it's a flawless foundation. I can see the blurring, I can see the matte finish, but I have dry skin, I'm not really using matte. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. I'll see how everything else blends on top. I do think I definitely should have color corrected underneath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color correct on top. I'm using the LA Colors color corrector. Now I'm gonna add a bit of foundation on top. Color correcting definitely helped. And the brows, look at what's happening to the brows. It's not staying up. I don't have a new concealer to try. So I'm going to go in with my trusty HNB one. I have the Mima Mitchell color case here. So let's try it together. This is the neutral one. This is what it looks like. I'm going to use this shade here. Probably just do my nose. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pigmented. This brush is so nice as well. It's going to warm it up on the back of my hand. Bronze. It's a very cool tone. The formula is kind of dry, but it, again, it could be the foundation I'm wearing. But I love this color. Like, I like the idea of it, but I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, I think I just need to keep trying it. So for blush, I'm going in with Made by Mitchell. This is in Peach Sugar. I really, really love this shade. I feel like I can tell that it's just going to look so good after I set it. I can't lie to you, it feels dry, but it looks flawless. I'm gonna use this powder. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I've recently been really liking this. It's got a very smooth, hydrating, satin kind of finish. This is like maybe my third time using it. And I feel like there aren't a lot of powders out there that I can comfortably bake with. I got sent this exact same brush from Beauty Bay, but I'm gonna just put it in the giveaway because I already own it. Um, and I love it. I literally use it to like brush off my powder, like so. I'm gonna do a bit of the Morphe setting spray just to melt everything in, a lot of it. Wow. Once you set this foundation, it looks so good. I'm gonna do things in a very random order today, but while I'm waiting for my face to dry down, I've yet to try the new mascara. The brows just aren't doing it for me. But yeah, I wanna put lashes on and I wanna try these lashes. I know you guys have seen them everywhere, the little cat eye ones. Maybelline, the Falsy Surreal Lashes. I went to the event with this mascara. It was so cute. It was that other world. Which honestly, it's very fitting. The wand I feel like is a little bit big. Whoa. 
That definitely added volume and that definitely added length. So far, so good. So far, so good. I don't know why I keep the nose. This is one coat. I don't have a new powder bronzer to try, but I recently fell back in love with the HMB one. But guys, I've literally hit pan. Can you see? I don't think I've ever in my life hit pan on a bronzer. That's how good this is. I use the shade 04 Medium Deep. I'm just putting that everywhere. I don't have a new powder blush to try either. So I'm going to use Casa del Dol by Dol Beauty. Love this blush. A very beautiful peachy shade. And it really complements that Made by Mitchell blush very well. Boom. Oh my god, I need to show you guys something. I've been doing this recently because my eye bags, nothing is concealing them at the moment. Ramadan's just, my sleep schedule is all over the place as it is. And Ramadan's just, is just throwing it. I take this powder. This is the new Maybelline Super Stay Powder. Very full coverage. So what I do is I literally just get my puff and I just, I just focus it literally just where my eye bags are. This is the shade 40, by the way. I love doing this one. I don't want to add more concealer, but I just still want the coverage on my eyes. Do you see the difference? I see a difference. You can kind of just see that grayish shadow under my eye. Love it. I'm going to set my face again, but this time I'm going to use the Glow Milk. Literally a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. I really like how that foundation started to look. That sound is so fresh. I mean, foundation. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice mascara. Volumizing, lengthening, love it. Oh yeah, I have a, liner, a new liner to try. Actually, I think maybe I've tried this before, I don't know. But it's still in the box. The V Power Ink Liner. It's pen liner. It's more on the dry side, but I feel like I kind of like that. I'm usually not a fan of these kind of pens, because I feel like it can get a bit messy, but I really like that. That was actually really easy to do. Where did I put the liner? Back in the box. Okay, I think I've probably tried it before. Let's try the uh, lashes now. It's these ones. The ones that are supposed to have like the cut eye set. I'm gonna cut two wisps off. Hmm, you know what? I see the vision. I don't know if I like the vision. What do you guys think of the lashes? I need you to tell me your honest opinion in the comments. Like, I don't know. Now we need to do the lips. Let's do make a toast. It's actually supposed to be like eyeliner for your eyes, but and obviously because this is meant for your waterline, it lasts a very long time. The formula of this is much better than the actual like, regular lip liners. I'm looking excited because I'm going to be trying the glosses as well. Okay, so I have all of the glosses to try. This is Candy Cute. Oh my god, look at that shade. Oh, whoa. They look pigmented, so I'm not going to put anything on underneath. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. What do you guys think of the shade? It kind of reminds me of NYX Tiramisu. It's like that pinky, bubblegum, pinky shade. It was a bit crazy at first, but I like it. The formula isn't sticky either. It is a thick formula, but it's not sticky. That is it for this video. Please don't forget to follow me if you haven't already. Let me know what other videos you guys want me to film in the comments. And that's it. That's all from me. Bye, guys.